Several crews from Massachusetts are set to arrive in Kentucky today, but there is something you can do too, and that's give blood. WBC's Lisa Greshi is in Boston with the ways that you can help. It's a, a really fast moving and changing and tragic situation down there. All over the country, American Red Cross teams are gearing up. We are getting blood down to that area. Our team here at home also answering the call for help, sending more than 200 units of blood to hospitals that need it most. We are in the midst of an unprecedented low blood supply. With the disaster in Kentucky surely drawing on that supply, blood drives are popping up all over, and those giving blood understand what their donation could mean. Grateful that I could come and other people, I encourage other people to come and Give blood too. It's not really that much time out of your life. And, hey, you'll probably be helping someone. The American Red Cross says what's saving lives right now is the blood that's already on the shelves. It's such a fast thing. You know, it's what do we have in stock? Let's just get that to the hospitals um, where and meet that need where it is. So then, what the, the second half of that, the back end of that, is that the Red Cross now is going out into the public and just reminding people that that blood supply has to be replenished. Also activating its service, Massachusetts Task Force One. A tornado that was on the ground for the entire length from Boston to New York. Uh, that is very remarkable. So far, the team specializing in search, rescue, and recovery has two people on the ground in Kentucky, both a logistics and communications expert. If you see so, you know, a building that is completely pancaked and flat where people could be trapped and still alive. And as the situation continues to develop, so will this response. Reporting in Brookline, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.